Davis Senior High School tonight at WSN brings you a Toledo City Athletic League contest. The league leading Cleo Spartans a 3 0 record. And the Lima Senior Spartans who check in at 2 1. My name is Mark Shaw. My pleasure to play by play. Alongside Mr. Dark, never go dark. Toledo, they come in here on a 6 4 record, 3 0 overall. Big trip down south for them. They don't shoot the ball very well, but they defend it very well. Yes, they do. And you look at their overall, they're averaging about 47 points a game, giving up about 50 points a game. They are on a little bit of a losing streak on that trip down to North Carolina, but, you know, they, they started out at 6 and 1 coming into this, you know, before they went down there. You know, so they've had some really good games coming up in the first part of it. You know, you like senior coming in. They, Lost a tough one to Finley, who everybody's lost to Finley, so you know they can't take that away from. Them. But when this Spartan deep offense gets the rolling, boy, they are tough. And you know it's going to take everything the Spartans, and the, uh, the Spartans from start has to stop this thing from happening. Let's look at our starting lineups. Then for the Toledo start Spartans, they will start number one, J Josiah Jefferson. He is their leading scorer at 12.6 points per game and nearly six rebounds. He is a 5'11 junior. Number two is Jalen Brown, a 5'8 senior, averaging 1.8. Preston Edwards wears number 10. He is a 6' junior, averaging 5.5 points per game and 5 rebounds. Number 11, Connor Mike Lee, a 6' junior at 4 points a game. And number 23, Ja'Kai Jefferson, a 5'8 sophomore, averaging 5.8 points a game and nearly uh, three steals per game. My machine, you mentioned a little bit, Dar. They come in averaging 74 points a game. They give up 65. They're four and three, two or more of the season. Yeah, they, like I said, they get, when their offense is clicking in all cylinders, they are going to be tough to defend against. So it's going to take everything that this start team has to shut them down. Uh, you know, you look at Sean Foster, he's the catalyst for them, of course. But they're a big team. And, and, and you look on the flip side, starts not. The tallest guy is 6'2. So it's going to be tough for them on the rebounding side of it. Now, seniors been out rebounded overall for the season by every one of their opponents. But I tell you what, this start, you know, Spartan team is going to have a real tough you know, night tonight if they don't get some rebounds. Noah Simpson wears number zero. He is a six foot freshman point guard, averaging six a game. Number four is a Jay Walton, a six four senior at 5.3 and nearly six rebounds. Five is Isaiah Wilson. 5'11 junior, 14.1, 11 is Sean Foster that Dar mentioned. 20.4 points per game, 3.6 rebounds, 2.6 assists for the 6'1 freshman and 28 made three-point field goals. And rounding out the starting lineup will be Jagger Hutchins, a 6'7 junior, 10.9 10 points per game and 6.7 rebounds. Our officials tonight, Mr. Denny Morris, Patrick McGinnis, and Josh Freeze will be our officiating crew this evening from here at Lima Senior in Toledo City Athletic League Conference play. And I see Sean Foster is up for the running for the Max Prep Player and Athlete of the Week as well after our performances last week. And we are ready. Lima Senior 2-1 in the conference. Tough loss at Toledo Scott back in early December. The tip goes into the backcourt to start. They're wearing the black uniforms this evening, the blue trim. They're actually green to trim, I guess. There's a steal off to the races. Noah Simpson, and he gets cut off. Jack Hutchins pull up three. Hutchins with a three ball. I'll tell you what, I watched him against Finley hit three of those right in a row. And he's a guy that just is a smooth three-point shooter. He has now got 13 of those on the season. Here's a bounce pass inside, and a finish against the press by Josiah Simpson. He has the first basket for start. Of course, Quincy Simpson coaches Lima Senior. Tareem Warren is the interim coach at Toledo Sark Start. This pass goes out of bounds. Spartans will pick up full court pressure. And here's the inbound. Advancing the basketball is Preston Edwards. And we're sure that's not Preston Edwards. That is Ja'Kai Jefferson wearing number 23. And we've got clock now, thanks. I think so. Those three wins before start, they beat Scott 45-37, Rogers 43-35, and wait 67-51. Lima the senior scores have been 107-71 at Bowser. The loss to Scott, which was 64-59, and beating Woodward 92-38. This is number 11, Mike Lee on the top. Headed to the rim and finishing inside. That will go to Ja'Kai Jefferson. Wilson pushes the pace. 
Senior coming off a big one against Reynoldsburg in overtime. Watson goes to the rim and scores. 5-4, a lot of action early on. The pace might favor Lima Senior. Start prefers a little slower pace. Yeah, I think it will. You know, like I said, if they get their offense clicking on all cylinders, it's going to be tough to slow them, slow them down. No, not that Stark can't do that because they play a lot of half-court offense. Pull up jumper and Blaine does not go for Josiah Jefferson. And Noah Simpson pushes the ball, and this is Sean Foster. And to the rim, left hand, a little hard. Swooping in to grab the rebound is Shakai Jefferson. You notice that they got Hutchins playing underneath the basket. Trying to use his big six foot seven frame on there against this smaller uh, Stark team. He is matched up right now with Jajai Jefferson. Now they have to hand it off to Jakai Jefferson. Brother to brother. Likely. Hutchins doubles inside. Mikey's going to get a three look. Missed everything. And the rebound, J.B. Walker. Go ahead. The start only hitting 20% of the three pointers. So if Lyman Senior can keep them out there, they got a good shot at uh, taking a big lead in this game. I say Wilson blew to the rib, but the shot was a little bit off the mark. The start rebound. Lyman Senior up by a point with two and a half minutes into this one. Josiah Jefferson. Spartans in their man to man defense. He has marched up. That's off with Simpson. He steps out of bounds with the basketball on the senior ball. Yeah, that's the second turnover now for Start. Full court pressure coming from the Start Spartans. Simpson. Jay Wilson has to grab that loose ball. Pass inside Hutchins. This time yes. the big man goes inside to score points four and five. I think they're going to take full advantage of that right now. Get it inside, let him post up against these smaller guys and see what he can do. Mikey looked at three again, this time turned it down. And on the blow by opportunity to Jakai Jefferson. He's got four now, and the average is six a game. Here's a three ball from Simpson. Hutchins battling inside. Rebound comes to Mike Lee. Started doing a pretty good job on the rebounding so far. That was actually Preston Edwards 10 and 9 and 11. Edwards goes and makes to the floor and scores. Start starting up a point. Turnover headed the other way. Ja'Kai Jefferson. And he goes right to the rim and scores. And we're going to end one opportunity. Ja'Kai was six already looking at seven. Well, that was a muscle play to the basket, too, because he was well guarded on that. Just kind of muscled his way right past the defender to not put that one in. First foul in the game will go to Javion Walton. Halfway through the quarter. Start looking to take a four-point lead. And it bounces out. They've not shot well from the free throw line this year. Hutchins rebounds. Now just a senior, 46% from the free throw. Now Isaiah Wilson says, I'm going to the rim and score. He's going to get an and one opportunity. That foul goes to Connor Mikey. Wilson, an 87% free throw shooter, 20 for 23 so far this season. Back to the rims and rebound, Preston Edwards. Isaiah Jefferson spins into the lane. And rebound opportunity, no. The third opportunity coming up, and at least it's going to be for Jalen Brown. Dropped the ball out of his house. First up for Lima Senior is number 10, Caden Hampton. 5'10 senior, averaging five points per game. And Sean Foster, 6'1 freshman, advances the basketball. An outstanding freshman campaign for him this year. Here's Hampton just checked in. Wilson again going to the rim. Foster gets a three look out of the corner. There it is. 29th three-point field goal of the season for Sean Foster. 45% from three. Just the eighth game of the season, so we're not even a quarter into that. He's already got 29 three-point field goals made. Hampton checks out, gets the rebound, throws it ahead to Wilson. Foster's going to get another look. Oh, look out. Same result. 
Well, he had 29 points against Rendlesburg in that overtime win. Spartan scrambling up, up five all of a sudden. What was a deficit just a moment ago? They have turned it on. Three ball, that one will go for Ja'Kai Jefferson. He's got nine in the game. Darry Edwards is wow. 5.8. He's made only two three-point field goals on the campaign. Hutchins for three. Well, we know what he can do from yes, three. Yes, we do. His 14 three-point field goal season. He's got eight in the quarter. And this is turning into an open, opening quarter shootout. Pass, oh, cross good court, pass, really good pass. Good pass. And Brown ends up with a basket. Great assist on that one there. And we're going to get a timeout by Stark. And head coach Toreen Warren. We're going to take a break also. 2.24 to go in the opening quarter. Spartans by three. You watch high school basketball on WOSN. and they find themselves trailing by three. It's interesting to see Stark, who's only averaging, like I said, around 50 points a game, yeah. coming in here and running with this Lima senior team. Of course, our timeouts are sponsored by Mesker Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MeskerFinancialServices.com. Dar, I called Mesker Financial Services today with a question, had an answer in an hour, and a result in an hour and a half. There you go. There are some tremendous people out there. Matt and Lynn, again, the crew. Pick up a little moisture on the floor. Is Josh Freeze on the far side of the floor here. And we will continue now with 2.19 to go, opening quarter. Hampton pass inside. What a catch. What a pass. And what yes, a catch. Sir. Foster is the recipient of that. He's got eight in the game. Ty Jagger Hutchins, the Spartan leadership. Josiah Jefferson gets it slapped away by the shot Greer, who checked in a moment ago. Good recovery, though, for the basket. And out of bounds would be Simpson's. They're allowing for four. Maybe I made a mistake because the scoreboard says two. I have to check that at the break. Now they've got Preston Edwards with two, and I go four, I'm going with two. So we'll see which one of those is right when we get to the break. Start inbound. Both teams with unofficially three turnovers apiece now. Going all the way to the glass. Left-handed finish. So we start going to Josiah Jefferson. Jefferson, Josiah. He's got six now. Start to come storming back. Foster, a little runner in the lane, leaves it short. Preston Edwards heads the other way. And that's stolen, taken away by the shot Greer, who checked it a moment ago. Likely rebound. That three a little bit hard there for Foster. Edwards. And now Josiah Jefferson. High screen for Jefferson. Number 13 checked in, Joseph Stallworth a moment ago. So did number five, Eric Pierce. That was one of the reasons for the start of timeout. Moved to the goal short. The rebound was going to be secured by Isaiah, Isaiah Wilson, but he is fouled instead. To start foul number who they assess it to, they assess it to Josiah Simpson. His first. Not many fouls in the quarter, Dar, just three not the total. Way, no, not the way the game's being played. You know, a lot of physicality out there, a lot of movement with the ball. You know, the start teams, you know, in the first eight games, put up 143 three-pointers. So, but they're only hitting 20% of them. Simpson inside, kick out pass, three ball in the corner. That one will go for Cade Hampton. He's got eight of those on the season now. Another 41% three-point shooter out there for Lima Senior. Spartans up four. 
Push Josiah Jefferson in the lane. Little runner, push shot goes for him. Josiah Jefferson. Simpson pushes ahead, under seven. Looking for a shot here at the buzzer. Foster, pull up from the volleyball line, and bounces around and doesn't fall. Action filled over three quarters. Martin for the two point lead. You're watching high school basketball, WOSN. Center High School, our free throw sponsor this evening is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. A lot of points on the board, Dar. A lot of points on the board. You know, you're looking at starting out with four turnovers, and you know, Lima Senior with three, which is pretty remarkable, just seven unofficial turnovers in the way the pace of this game went in that first, first quarter. Start doing a nice job on rebounding, though. I've got them for seven rebounds to just three for Lima Senior, but you know, that's not unusual for this Lima senior team. Like I said, they've been out rebounding a lot of their games this year. But, you know, I've just been surprised that they, they, the driving to the basket by Start has been really good. And, and the guys out there for Start are dribbling the ball right in front of themselves. They're, they're pretty brave to do that against this Spartan defense, but you know, they're leaving the ball right out there and then breaking for the basket. Sean Foster with eight, Jagger Hutchins with eight for Lima senior, Ja'Kai Jefferson with nine for Torino Start. Lima Senior Basketball in quarter number two. This is Jay Walton. Hands off to Simpson. Cloud pass inside. And into the corner. And checking at the buzzer was Khalid Walsh. Walsh was going to the rim when he was fouled. And that becomes Josiah Jefferson's second foul. Not many fouls in the game. He's got two of them. Yeah, and it could be a big loss for start if he, you know, gets himself in foul trouble. They're going to have to bring somebody in pretty soon. And he gets that third foul, you're definitely going to bring somebody in. But two fouls for it that quickly, yeah, that's pretty tough. Spartans going to weave out front. Hampton into the corner, and that was Noah Simpson. Cutting to the goal was Jay Walton. He got knocked off in his cut by number 10, Preston Edwards. Preston's first. And we didn't have any fouls, but in 28 seconds, yeah. Stark <laughs> managed to rack up four of them. So we're going to shoot a lot of free throws here in this quarter. And what? The shooting crew going to the scores table to check something out. Point is something, but I'm not sure what the point is. Correct. Foster came out at that break. A dead ball. We are working inside, can't get open. This is Noah Simpson. Simpson, freshman in the lane, left hand, nope. Tip in. The shot, the rear. And my stat page is correct. That's his first points this season for the 6 3 sophomore. That is correct. Trying to get to the goal and trying to do so was. Ja'Kai Jefferson, he was fouled. That's by Caden Hampton. His first foul. Spartans have two as a team now. This is one in this quarter. Sean Foster back in the game. Well, we can see Stark's game plan. That's go to the basket as much as you can. They you certainly know. do, don't they? <laughs> they're going to they're drive every time they come down. They, they know they're not their great three-point shooting team. You know, even though uh, Lima Senior is trying to keep them out there on three points, they haven't been able to do that yet. Jaya Zefferson took the inbounds pass, couldn't get a shot off. They bring it back out front. Preston Edwards works to the goal, and it is taken away from him by Deshaun Greer, but Greer gets called for the foul. And after a very clean opening quarter, it's become, ah, I see what the change was, Dar. They, they changed the fouls on the scoreboard. They forgot to wipe them off at the end of the quarter. Nah. So now there are two fouls on each team here in this quarter. That was what we were discussing at the score a moment ago. Ball's tipped out of bounds that time by League Wash. And Lima Sears got to do a better job of keeping them from driving to the basket and just keep them to the outside, you know, make them shoot those three-point shots or at least long two-pointers from out there and not let them get so close to the basket. Good media friend Tim Ludwig tells me this is the 13th and 14th meeting 
between these two teams. Lima Seniors won 12 in the first 13. The only time to start one was in 1971. Well, that was a good year. Uh, Ballard for the rebound inside comes away to Noah Simpson. And a little bit of mishandling in the basketball and goes off a wash out of bounds. Sometimes you watch them, you know, Lyman Seniors play at times, and it's organized chaos, but yet it's organized. <laughs> That's the big thing. Edwards down into the corner this time. The pass goes to Stalwart. Back out front to Eric Pierce. Pierce is running the lane. Well, got that rebound with some long hearts and some strong hands. Foster. In the lane, and he gets fouled as he gets to about the 14 foot mark. And high, Lou says, to Jonathan Jefferson's third Brown. foul. His first team third. Nope, Jagger it was not. It was Jalen Brown's game. first. This is a plus for start because if you lose to Zion Jefferson, who's your leading scorer, averaging around 13 points a game, you know, you don't have a lot of scores, you know, nobody else in double figures. Hutchins posted up inside. There's the size bitch match you talked about. Lost the ball off his foot, trying to dribble into the hoop in that area. You know, Darby been doing this for a long time. Wouldn't you think I'd wait till the official put a number up on the board before you anticipate who the foul was yeah, on? Yeah, really. Wouldn't you think you'd learn that at some point? You'd think. Foster with a steal. Sean, left-handed finish at the rim. He's got 10 now. The first player in the game to be in double figures. Spartan leads at six. He's, a, he's some kind of player, isn't he? He really is. Just a freshman. Trying to strip the ball loose there. And finally yeah. comes loose. Foster's out to get a transition and throws it down. Why not? Well, he's made a couple of threes, a couple of drives to the goal, and now he's got a jam. And trying to finish on the return is Preston Edwards. Hutchins rebounds. Spartan trying to go up 10. What a move by Foster right there. And a oh, look at step. that. He's putting on a show, Dar. Yes, he is. And he's putting on a show that Coach Williams says, I got to try to get stopped with five minutes to go in the wow. second quarter. Takes a timeout. What's high school basketball, WOSN. Tonight's timeouts are brought to you by Pesky Financial Services. Up you plan your financial future. Call 419. 6067 or visit that's good financial services.com. Six consecutive points, Sean Foster, 14 in the game, and that last move was about as pretty as it gets. Oh, it certainly was high ride right, real for sure. And like I said earlier on, you know, he's on the running for the the max preps play athlete of the week, you know, just for his performance against Reynoldsburg, particularly when he had 29 points. But it's moves like that that I can see why he would be in the running for that. Spartans won that game 63-62 in overtime. There's a start Spartan down, but medical staff in front of them, I can't catch a number for There's a long pass ahead. Short jumper, and that one will fall. Joseph Stallworth, his first basket of the game to kind of stem the tide a little bit. And Stallworth averaging six and a half points a game coming in. Noah Simpson gets a three look. It bounces off the rim. Hutchins goes high for the rebound. Kicks it to Greer. Fights for another rebound. Wall rebounds. And Spartans hammer to glass that possession. A lot of hard work under there for the Spartans. The line of senior Spartans. And it's, it's going to pay off for two shots at the foul line. Well, I talked to a Stark person. They said his name is Mike Lee. And the PA just called him Michael. So I'm not sure how we'll go with that. Walton gets a couple of free throw opportunities out of his efforts. Three points for him in the game. 55% free throw shooter. Do an ankle wrap job on whatever that uh, spark, spark is over there. We'll try to get a number if we can. Some people out of the way. And stepped over the line and shot the free throw, so it will go as a miss. 
Foster back in the game. Yeah, I look at Sean Foster. He's listed at that 6'1 as a freshman. What do you want to bet? He's like 6'4 and about, about another 15 or 20 pounds heavier when he graduates. Yep, absolutely. And will he be really, really good oh, by then? I'll tell you what. Already there now and to the tools he possesses as just a freshman. Edwards, corner pass, three ball, short, rebound. Edwards powered up, did Preston, and will draw a foul. Foster's just uh, so smooth with, his, with the way he you know, maneuvers around everybody. Jay Walton picks up his second foul. Preston Edwards will go to the free throw line. He's got a couple of points in the game, shoots 58%. That rolls out, and Star said, mentioned a couple of times this evening, Star has struggled to shoot well from anywhere. Free throw line, two point area, or the three point line area on the season. They lost a game earlier on this season against uh, St. Francis de Sales, 39 to 21. So. That one is short. Foster rebound. Three ball comes up from Isaiah Wilson. Wilson with five in the game. He's got eight three point field goals on the season. Spartan press up 12. Right to the rim and finishing on this end is Mike Lee. Senior's going to have to shut down that middle. There's too many drives by that starting team. Foster, deep three. Heat check. Rebound comes to Josiah Jefferson. And you see what starts seeing, too, because there's a little bit of a gap right there by the line of seniors defense, and they're going to try to take, and they've been trying to get in there and take advantage of it. Jefferson, Josiah, got the ball to the rim, couldn't finish. His teammate, I think it's Edwards, it's on the floor right now. Let's see, it is. Preston Edwards secured that rebound and will draw another foul. This one will go to Noah Simpson. But it will be an out-of-bounds foul as it occurred before he attempted the shot. And it is Ja'Kai Jefferson with the ankle in the situation. He's been taped back up. He's talking to coach right now. Pass inside, and we're going to get a foul. Is screen and roll opportunity from Josiah Jefferson, who was held before he could get a shot out. Nope, he's going to get a two-shot foul. And Simpson picks up back-to-back -back fouls. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Web Insurance Agency, serving Lyman Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. Makes this one, does Jefferson, 0.7 for him this evening. On our Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Back-to-back -back free throws for a guy who was making just 37.5% yeah. on the really? season. Good signs for him. Half court trap coming. Good job by Lyman Senior to break through there. Wilson just navigates through it, goes to the rim. Oh, gets there his you own go. rebound and scores. A little pitch and catch to himself. Seven in the game for him. And foul put it out front. That will become a one and one shooting foul, what used to be called the one and one shooting foul. Wilson, his first. Wilson gets his first foul. Back to the free throw line to see if he can duplicate his success is Josiah Jefferson. Oh, this was a bit hard. Eight points in the game for him. And back into the game comes Ja'Kai Jefferson. Ja'Kai had nine all in the opening quarter. You see all that ankle injury, what it does for his ability out there. And his brother missed that free throw. The sword in the guy's own rebound. Up to the left hand. Nope. Gets another opportunity. Missed that one. Fights for his own rebound. Well, you cannot deny the effort of Josiah Jefferson. He is getting after it right now. On the held ball, it goes to Lima Sr. 
He's only 5'11 in there against some pretty good sized guys for Lima Senior. And he's putting on a little bit of a show himself. He averages 5.9 rebounds, and the reason is he is the quickest jumper off the floor. Yes, he is. And we're going to say the arrow was incorrect, and we're going to turn it back over to Toledo Stark Spartans. Down 10 with 3.05 to go, second quarter. Scoring slowed down a little bit here in this quarter, but the action certainly hasn't. Bounce pass inside to Ty Jefferson. Preston Edwards. Jefferson working inside, gets doubled up, steps to the double team, and Hutchins rebounds and stolen. Jefferson finishes. That young man has earned the points he's got yes, the yes. He's a double figure scorer with 10. To the rim and not being able to score as Isaiah Wilson back to Sparks. Spark, start, Spartans, that one goes. It's a lot of Spartans out there. Oh, that was tough, one, man. <laughs> Start Spartans is hard enough as is. Roy C. Start, the school that they play for in Toledo. Jefferson again, finishes okay. again. 12 for him now, six in each quarter. Can't give him that little short jumper right there because he's deadly. Physically strong young man. Three from Wilson. Second three ball in the quarter for Isaiah Wilson. He's got 10. And this time out will go to Quincy Simpson. Two of six to go to Lee's, excuse me, it's a Mesco Financial Services timeout. You're watching High School Basketball, WOSA. Nor can you let them get those little short jumpers in the paint like that either. You know, force them to the outside. We know kind of what kind of shooters they are from the outside. Get them out there. Make them shoot it from out there. Approaching two minutes to go here in a quarter number two. Sparks with a nine-point lead. Down inside he goes again. Spin move. Left it short, but he was fouled. That's why he left it short. Did Josiah Jefferson. Foul goes to the shot career. Shot is second. And to the free throw line. This time, Josiah Jefferson is two for four there tonight. 5'11 junior. Back of the wind. This will be number 32, Stacey Dixon Jr. into the game. Stacey's a 6'4 sophomore. Looking for some size inside. They've tried Greer, now they're going to try Dixon. Second free throw. That one goes. Jefferson now with 13 in the game. Noah Simpson was pushing the ball down the court and trying to stop that penetration of the dribble was Ja'Kai Jefferson. Ja'Kai's first foul, but to the free throw line we will go. And that means Noah Simpson, who was struggling a bit at the free throw line in his opening season. Does a lot of other things well. Yes, he does. Over you know, about six points a game and 3.4 rebounds. But talented freshman. He's only had this only his fourth opportunity at the yep. free throw line. He's one for four so far. But a 50% three-point shooter, though. Covers the ball well in defense, makes that free throw. That's his first point in the basketball game. Maybe that's what he needs to do. He needs to shoot from the three point line on three throws. Also, check in for the Spartans. You know that Philly Walsh took his place at the, the break there. Isn't that amazing? It seems like every so often you run a guy just exactly like that. Yep. Their three point shooting is really, really good. They struggle at the free throw line. And it just, it's just one of those anomalies. You go, how, how can that be? And it does happen. Oh, yeah. 
They're, they're much more comfortable shooting jump shots than they are, you know, well, flat-footed. Pass inside. Shot up and inside. That one will go to Eric Pierce. His first basket of the game. Spartan lead is at seven. Hello, oh, look out. <laughs> Hutchins using his size, lost the basketball, however, trying to spin to the lane. Wash tips it loose from out behind and pass ahead. This goes to Wilson, and Isaiah scores. 12 for him. That includes 10 in this quarter. Three out of the corner. Hard. Hutchins gets great position and rebounds. Fights a couple of guys and will draw a foul. Good strength, Jagger Hutchins. Yeah, I'm impressed with Jagger Hutchins. Not only his rebound, he's a six foot seven junior, averaging about 11 points a game, almost seven rebounds a game, 67 percent from the free throw line, a 31 percent three point shooter. On top of that, Jakai Jefferson picked up his second foul in the opening half. Hutchins can make a couple of these. He would become a 10 point a game score, but left that one short. His first web free throw, insurance free throw tonight. He's had 40 opportunities at the free throw line so far this season. In the first seven games, that means he's working in hot inside hard contact. That one bounces out on him. Under a minute to go. Spartans up nine. Let's see what Stark chooses to do. Stallworth looking for somebody. Finds Jefferson. Was a battle inside. Wash going yeah, up to Chikai Jefferson. Steal. Headed to the rim. Wilson. Isaiah Wilson scores. Wilson, that's like great for him. First, yes, first he half. is, Dar. He's got 12 here in this quarter. Ties Sean Foster for team leadership with 14 in the opening half. Spartans want a double figure lead heading into the break. Stark doesn't want to keep it there. Josiah Jefferson, and what do we got? We got a hole. I think they got Wash inside. He was wrestling down inside with Eric Pierce. Wash gives up about five inches and a few pounds. Wash gets his first foul. The free throw line goes Pierce. Not sure that was anything. It was a problem. Yeah, Spartans. I don't think so. No, he's working hard inside, and it's a start team that doesn't shoot free throws very well anyway. Uh, Pierce missed them both. Rebound. Here's a pass ahead. Spartans are going to get a look at it. Wash for three. Nope, he stepped out of bounds on the sidelines with point nine left. Unofficially, they had eight turnovers for uh, Lima Senior. Seven or eight turnovers as well for the start Spartans. Which really, you know, you look, you know, 16 turnovers doesn't sound like a whole lot in a game that has this much action. That will bring our opening half to an end. Lima Senior will take an 11 point lead to the break. Back with third quarter action in a moment. You're watching high school basketball. from the field, just one for seven from three-point range, a miserable 14%, which coming into this game, they were only hitting around 20%. So three for 11 at three from the free throw line, 27%, 13 rebounds, eight turnovers. Lima Senior on the flip side, 18 for 31 from the field, 58%, seven for 13 at from three-point range, that's 54%. You know, two for seven to the foul line, 29%, 13 rebounds and eight turnovers for them as well. So. You know, right now, Lima Senior definitely winning from the shooting aspect of the game, and they're also 
Now they're pretty even on rebounds, pretty even on turnovers. So you know, both of them with 13 piece and eight apiece. But if the shooting for start is really what's hurt them all season long, and they started out six and one this year, so mm -hmm. I'm not sure exactly how they did that. But uh, you know, apparently, but you know. They got great defense. They do a nice job getting on the inside and, and getting baskets on the inside, but their outside shooting really needs some work. Starting had quarter scores of 21 and 13. They're led by Josiah Jefferson, 13. He had seven of those in his second quarter. Climb the senior quarter scores of 23 and 22. They're led by Isaiah Wilson and Sean Foster each with 14. It will be Lima Seniors basketball here in quarter number three. Lewis Simpson hands off to Jay Walton. Hutchins posted up inside. Foster for three. Missed that one. Headed to the rim is Preston Edwards. Preston Edwards is now at four in the game. Well, they continue to uh, Simpson inside. Kick out. Foster. Hutchins with a good post position inside. Spins baseline and lost the ball out of bounds as he was working on Preston Edwards. That's twice he's done that in this game, you know, trying to make that spin move to the inside. Good defense by start to, to kind of block him out of there. 2-2-1 two, two, zone press, Lima Senior, they pass over it. Into the lane, short shot, Josiah Jefferson. Rebound, nope. Foster, he's out of bounds. Well, we talked about Ty Jefferson had ankle issues. He comes out in a pair of blue shoes in the second half. Let's see if that helps. <laughs> Got it taped up pretty good. We saw in the second quarter. He gets a pass inside. The reverse layup won't fall for him. Hutchins rebounds and immediately is slapped on the arm by Ty Jefferson, foul number three for him. Well, after that ankle, twisted ankle, let's hope that is his blue shoes and not his feet and out there that's turned blue. <laughs> Foster comes out to get the basketball as Quincy Simpson calls the set. They go five out on the perimeter. Oh, nice move there. Hutchins gets a three look this time. Oh, that rattled out on him. Walton gets a strong rebound and powers it back up. He will draw a foul. J.D. on Walton averages nearly six rebounds a game. Does a 6-4 senior, and you saw why right there. And the foul was there. Uh, Preston Edwards, Preston is the second. And Walton, who has uh, three points in the game, will get a pair of free throws. Yeah, he's one for two in the first half the free throw line. Spartans get together a little defensive conversation. This will be Walton's second foul shot opportunity. And the Lime Senior coming in as 67% free throw shooting team and just not had a good night at the foul line tonight. Points a bit hard as well. Rebound Eric Pierce. Ja'Kai Jefferson. Edwards. This is Josiah Jefferson. Good move from him to get in the lane. Runner from about eight feet. That scores. He's got 15 now. Boy, he is tough. He's the leading score at 12.6. He's up to 15 already. He's got that quick first step. He gets around a defender, and he's got a really nice shot when he's in the paint. Simpson wanted to go baseline with a spin move. Got cut off by two. Start Spartans. And they reset. Leads at seven. Wilson gets a screen. Hudson is headed inside. Got cut off. Spartans from start trapping the corner. Hudson's leader, no. Gets his own rebound. That one's blocked, but there's contact. Ted Hudson's with good work that time. Gets himself to the foul line. Averaging just under seven seven rebounds a game, 11 points a game, and he, he's impressed me all season long is what he can do. This is Josiah Jefferson's third foul, joining brother Ja'Kai. Also third foul the quarter. Touches to the free throw line. Rolls that one in, that's point nine for him. He had an eight point opening quarter, scoreless in the second. 67% free throw shooter. That's that one, double figure score. Two for four tonight at the free throw line. On the Web Insurance Agency free throw line. 
Spartans back up nine. Bounce pass inside. Likely. Reverse oh, layup. Nice good. Move. Connor Mikeley with four in the game now. That was a tough shot over Hutchins. They do get themselves in the lane, don't they? They, they do, and, and they know what to do once they get under there. You know, they, they know that their shots are going to be contested by the bigger guys they're going against, so they got to get creative on those shots, and they've been able to do that. Isaiah Wilson was headed to the rim. Official on the shot underneath, couldn't see the call. Outside official, the center got the call, and it will go to Toledo start. Got a text from a teammate or from a uh, friend the other night, said, hey, there's a guy from Lima Senior playing on TV, Josiah Fulcher from now we know it's in South Alabama now, I believe. He oh, plays yeah. there, playing on TV the other night. Started out at Bowling Green, now down at uh, Alabama. What? Strong I, move wow. inside. Josiah oh, Jefferson oh, goes through. Hutchins for point 16 and 17. I'm not quite sure how he kept control of that ball the whole time he went in there. The leads at five. Spartans having trouble getting points on the board this quarter. Wilson working and working. Finally finds Walton. Walton step through move. Leader, no. Hutchins battles for it, but too many Spartans to start there. The rebound to Pierce. Start doing a much job, better job on the inside. That shot's blocked by Wilson. On the leader by Josias Jefferson. Wilson line lane scores. His first basket in the second half gives him 16 in the game. It's obvious you've got to beat these guys on the, you know, to the basket every time because they're going to, you know, knock you down if you do get in there close. Likely wanted to get a three. Couldn't get it off, but Hutchins was called for pushing his way through a screen. First foul on him. It's the first of the half as well, I'm assuming, if I read the scoreboard correctly. The scoreboard brought to you tonight by Lee's famous recipe chicken. Passed it way out on top. Mike Lee with it. Hands off to Ja'Kai Jefferson. Boy, he's got a quick step. Josiah Jefferson battles, battles again and gets the rebound. Muscles up through traffic and finally Sean Foster gets it. Hutchins pull up three. Bit hard. Rebound comes to Stallworth. That's one thing a lot of teams against Lima Senior get those long rebounds because you know Senior High throws up those three pointers. And a lot of times they're hard and hit off the back of the board. Headed to the rim was Preston Edwards. This shot was blocked by Walton. Foster with it. Walton to the foul line for pull-up jumper. Spliced it in. Five for him. Spartan lead goes to nine again. That's just their points five and six of the quarter for Lima Senior. Shows the value, though. You know, Foster is the one that does a lot of scoring for Lima Senior. It seems like, but you know, he's a very unselfish player too. A little miscommunication yeah, by Stark. The ball went out of bounds. Lima Senior will get back. And into the basketball games comes Caden Hampton wearing number ten. he has got a three-point field goal in the opening quarter. And we're going to get a start Spartan in as well. Jalen Brown. Jalen was a starter, had four points in the opening quarter. And played a lot since then. Sean Foster. Here's Hampton, just checked in a moment ago. Also came in a moment ago was Deshaun Greer. Back up Foster, left handed shot, won't finish. Rebound, Josiah Jefferson. That was good defense by Stark to stay right with Foster. Hampton battled the rebound, tipped it over to Greer. 2.18 to go in the quarter. Lee's famous recipe chicken scoreboard. Lima Senior, 51-42 for Toledo start. Hutchins wants to go baseline and gets doubled up. Lost the ball to Greer. Greer goes up through traffic. Hutchins with a good rebound. He goes up in traffic. And 
Kick it went out of bounds off of Hutchins. Big scramble inside that time. You know, Dar, I do want to throw a prop out right now. Chris Jackson, one of us on the staff for Lima Senior. Every single ball game sends me Lima Senior's stats for that game and for the season. And as a numbers guy who loves to read stat pages, I wish a whole lot more coaches yeah, could do I, that. Yeah, absolutely. I, I really appreciate Chris and the work he does and getting some numbers to me after every single Spartan game. Three ball misses. Josiah Jefferson with a three. Another rebound for him. Tries a spin move against Greer. Lost it. Trying to back him down. And this time we'll get a timeout from starts to read war. Timeout's brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future. You call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. 51-42 Lima Senior back in a moment. You watch high school basketball. Good boys. Taken by Start. That's their third of the game. Our free throw sponsor tonight has been Web Insurance Agency. Serving Lima and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lima and in Bluffton. 127 to go here in quarter three. And a low scoring quarter three as well. It is. 8 6 start in this quarter. You know, Lima Senior had 23 in the first, 22 in the second, and just six points so far here in this third quarter. It has been a bit of a stagnant quarter for both teams offensively. I mean, there's been a lot of action, you know, as far as shooting-wise and rebounding-wise, but nobody's been able to really consistently put it in. See what Coach Bourne chose to do with this timeout. This is Brown, and he gives it up to Josiah Jefferson. 17 in the game for Josiah. He is a 5'11 junior, and he is a hard-working young man. Brown working against Simpson, and Foster jumped the pass and then knocked it out of bounds. Great anticipation by Sean Foster on that one there. Understands the game better. He certainly does. Looking, looking. Long pass, and Foster gets a steal. No, he could keep it in bounds. Good pressure on the inbounds pass by Lima Senior. Almost got a steal out of it. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at apple.wsn.tv. It's also available Roku and Apple. Here's a three that misses. That will be knocked out of bounds. And done so by Joseph Stallwork to line the senior with under a minute to go. Well, one for ten from three-point range for the start team. This is... And they have struggled to shoot the basketball from the perimeter, but hard work on the inside and a lot of rebounding effort and has kept them in the basketball game. Yeah, it certainly has. They, you know, particularly when you're looking at uh, the Jefferson, Josiah Jefferson out there because he's really worked hard underneath and so is his brother. Jackson off the screen. Doubled up. Three ball. Oh. That three will go from by Isaiah Wilson. Third three-pointer for him, 19 points in the game. Pushes the lead to 12. And we're going to get a foul on travel. We'll get a foul. It's just a second foul of the quarter on Lima Senior. As the foul will go to Deshaun Greer. His third foul of the year with 28.8. Here comes Khalid Washington the game. He's been a defensive presence this evening, and we'll give Sean Foster a break at the end of the quarter. And Greer really working hard out there. He's got the three fouls, but it's not from lack of effort, I'll tell you that. It's time we're going to get a hold inside as Isaiah Wilson was wrestling inside to get defensive position. It's called for his second foul. Just his third team of the quarter. In fact, each team has three fouls in this quarter. Pass goes way out on top. Preston Edwards has the basketball. He gets into the lane, has to kick it back out. It's a long three. Nope. Wash fights for the rebound inside. 
And uh, if you see who the arrow goes to, he was wrestling inside with Eric Pierce for the basketball. And it will stay with Stark. And Ja'Kai Jefferson will be the inbounder. I'll tell you what, the Stark team's not afraid to take the three-point shot. They just can't yeah. hit it. They have made just 29 of the year before the one that Jefferson made this evening. That's their 30th. 143 coming in. You had 11 more tonight, and they've only hit one of them tonight. So over 153 point attempts and, and just hitting 30 of them. That's kicked that out of coach the guy a long time ago. He wasn't shooting ball very well. I said, hey, you're not hitting tonight. Put the ball in your pocket. He said, how will I know I'm shooting well if I don't get to shoot it? <laughs> well, yeah, yeah good point. I suppose. <laughs> Ball's tipped out. Start with yet another offensive rebound. Three ball in the corner. That one will miss. And at the buzzer, it was tipped up by uh, Ja'Kai Jefferson. That missed. Spartans will take a 12-point lead as we head to quarter number four. You're watching High School Basketball W. The senior for the fourth quarter, our scoreboard sponsor, that is Ben Lee's famous recipe chicken and lime, a waffle off Delphi from St. Mary's. Call Lee's while you're catering Lee's, Lee's famous recipe chicken, home style happens here. From Shine Dark, never go. Hey, they introduced William Howard, tremendous high school player here with the University of Tennessee. He played in the 80s when I was out of the city, but I heard so many things about him and his athletic skills. Good to see him here this evening. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Lima Senior outscored start 10-8 in low-scoring quarter number three. They'll take a 12-point lead here in into quarter number four. And Wilson lost it out of bounds. Really good pressure defense over there by Josiah Jefferson. I don't see everybody in the Toledo City Athletic League. Josiah Jefferson can play on my team if he wants to. Oh, he's a great player. I mean, just hardworking, you know, just dedicated to the game. You know, he's he knows he's got to work hard against a lot of guys that are taller than him all the time. And, you know, he puts every effort into it. It's, you know, great spin move to the basket he's got, too. Billy Walsh gets called for his second foul of the game. A hand check activity out front. 12 seconds into this one. I'm sure there's some pretty talented people on wearing white uniforms tonight. I'd like to have on my team, too. Yeah, I'll take a few of them. I'll take Stone steal. Wash. Skids inside. Left handed shot. Rolls on the rim. And a fight for the rebound. Peyton Hampton is going to get called for a. You do grab a player going for a rebound. Hampton's got two fouls. Foster back in the game. Also back in is Walton. And Jack Hutchins came back in. As Coach Simpson gave some of his guys a long quarter break. Seven and a half minutes to go in this one. Spartans going to go zone. They start doing a nice job. They've held uh, Sean, Spar Sean Foster scoreless here in the second half so far. Well, you mentioned he lets the game come to him. It didn't take much uh, many opportunities no, in that quarter. Here's a three. Got one. They finally did. Stallworth. He was their leading three-point field goal shooter. He had 14 of their 29 before this evening. That's his first of this evening. You know, that's the thing about Foster too, though. You know, he's a great scorer and a great, you know, playmaker all the way around, and, and he's an unselfish player and lets other people, you know, pick up the scoring. Step back three for him that time it does not go. Another three going up. Foster with the rebound on the backside. Good look out ahead to Noah Simpson, who traveled. Yep, got his eyes wide open on the rim and need to take one yep. dribble. He kind of got caught in between. Yeah, you know, do he I did. dribble he or did. don't I? And ended up with the travel call. Spartans up nine. They've got Huber Heights Wayne in here on Tuesday evening. That is a really interesting matchup. And they've got the Toledo Wait on the 12th. Mansfield Senior, big rivalry game on mm -hmm. the 13th. And 
Then they participate in the flying the hoops contest. There's a short jumper. That one will go for Stallworth as well. He's got seven now. He's got uh, five in this quarter. Nice Ryan Messiner plays pick central at 445 on the 14th in the flying hoop. Oh, nice move. Yes. Pure speed there. Isaiah Wilson goes to 21 on the evening. And then we get called for a foul as things are really tightened up defensively in the, how things are called here in the quarter. That's three on him and three for the Spartans in the quarter. Shaquille Jefferson spins in the lane and scores over top of J.D. Walton. He becomes a double figure scorer with 11. His first basket of the second half, though. Hutchins trying to post up inside. Spartans playing four around one right now. Here's Wilson again to the rim, and he was going to score, but fouled first. If it's Ja'Kai Jefferson, that's four, and I think it is. Nope, it was not. It was 13, not 23, and that's Stallworth's first foul. I'll tell you what, the start team's got a, a patent on that spin move to the basket, don't they? They do. Stacy Dixon Jr. enters. He wears 32 for the Spartans. Played some in quarter number two. Here's Hutchins. And to the rim, kick out pass is lost. Came off his hand bad. Ja'Kai Jefferson to the rim, he's got 13. And what's this call? And I do not know. <laughs> They're gonna stop each of play and Josh Reeves will put the ball back into bounds. In bounds. With the Spartans leading by just five. After having a double digit lead at the end of the first half. Foster thought about pulling the trigger, decided not to. His Hutchins inside, goes to the rim. Strong move from him on a good entry pass. Here's the foul go to gone. I didn't see that. Goes to, looks like Eric Pierce's first foul. Yep. Yeah, they need to do that more often here in this fourth quarter. You just get it into Hutchins and let him take it to the basket. He is a two for four at the free throw line this evening. And our web insurance free throw. Web insurance serving Lyme and Allen County for more than 100 years with offices in downtown Lyme and in Bluffton. Makes that one his point 11 for him tonight. And point 12. And Coach Simpson takes a timeout. It's a Mexican Financial Services timeout. Our timeout center brought to you by Mexican Financial Services, helping you plan your financial future. Call 419 225 and visit MexicanFinancialServices.com. Back in the day, you're watching high school basketball, WOSN. Check out our website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anyone in the state. Check out our broadcast schedule, upcoming games and social media posts, and more at WOSN.TV. Lima Senior with their second timeout in the basketball game with 4.55 to go here in the quarter. A lead by seven. It will be start basketball out of hands. As you said, they led in halftime 45-34. You know, starts on a nice job defensively of keeping the line of senior off, you know, off balance a little bit. Spartans going to play some two three zone. Nope. Stay man to man. Thought they were showing some zone action and they didn't. Jefferson finds brother. Josiah, uh, Jefferson. And now back to Josiah Jefferson. Skip pass to the corner. This three is going to go up from Stallworth. Oh, man. And a strong, strong rebound. How many times have we said that this wow. evening by Josiah Jefferson? As he soared in to grab that one and will draw contact and go to the free throw line. The foul to Jagger Hutchins. Jagger's second. 
With 17 points in the game, Josiah Jefferson will go to the free throw line. Yeah, he may be 5'11", but he doesn't jump like he's 5'11", that's for sure. Makes that free throw point 18. My machine, there were just two more Toledo City Athletic League contests this year. They have Wake here on the 12th and Rogers here on the 26th. As that one bounces in, it's a league that plays each to school just once. I'm a senior on the road for three games in December, and now three home games here in January for their league schedule. Start 3-0 at a conference. Lima Seniors 2-1 trying to catch him. Hutchins. And good pass, unable to finish. Hutchins battles for the rebound. Dixon Jr. was battling for a good shot off the glass. It wouldn't fall for him. All goes back to the Lima Senior, though. Noah Simpson will be the trigger person. Hutchins, Jagger, spin move, and lost it. They lost it because he was fouled. I said, that's what you got to do if you're Lima Senior and nursing this lead right now. Just get it into Hutchins, let him do his thing in there. Preston Edwards gets his third foul, also team third foul the quarter. Lima Senior's got four team fouls already, so we're going to see some free throws here in this quarter. Isaiah Wilson working out top. And working and, and rolls it over Simpson. Nice pass. <laughs> Noah Simpson trying to get around to Kai Jefferson, and Jefferson gets called for the hold, and that was foul number four for the 5'8 sophomore. And fourth team foul. So it's double shooting every time we get a foul called now the rest of this one. To Foster in the backcourt. Sean had 14 and a half, he still has 14. But in the second half, he's pretty much been running the offense from out there. Hutchins gets it tipped out of bounds by Eric Pierce. Spartan sideline out of bounds. So we're waiting for somebody to come and take it out of bounds. Nope, here comes Noah Simpson. Nope, and instead it will be Stacy Dixon Jr. Skip pass. Hutchins wants to spin move and lost it out of bounds. Hudson's has kind of struggled a little bit tonight with that spin move, and he's lost one of the, at least three turnovers on it. Last time he did that, a foul was called. That time, none. And so the ball goes to Toledo start, and they will take a timeout with 3.16 to go here in quarter number four. Let's do a little bit of a game reset, Bar. Toledo start now has just a single timeout left in the basketball game, and we still have 316 to play in this one. Lima Senior goes up by five. Each team has committed four fouls here in the quarter. So we're going to be shooting fouls the best of the way with this one. One serious foul trouble, and that would be Jakai Jefferson has four. Preston Edwards has three. So does Josiah Jefferson. The Lima Senior, Isaiah Wilson, and Deshaun Greer have three fouls. The possession arrow favors Toledo start. Should that be an issue in the game? If we come down to a free throw shooting contest here in the last three minutes of this game, you know, so far in the second half, starts two for two at the foul line. You know, you look at Lima Senior, they're four for six at the foul line. So both teams have picked up their free throw shooting a little bit here in the second half. They're pretty dismal in the first half, but you know, when we come down to push comes to shove at the end of this game, it's going to it may come down to that. I neglected to mention when I said that that start has a single timeout remaining at Quincy Simpson. And Lima Senior still have three timeouts on the board. Starks did a really nice job here in the second half, though, of cutting into this lead and you know getting themselves back in the game. And a lot of it's come from their play underneath the basket too. They have hit a couple of three pointers, you know, you know one three pointer here in the second half, but most of it's been the play of their, their guys underneath. Spartans outscored Lima Senior 11 to four in the quarter. And the rebound comes inside and finished up by Josiah Jefferson. 21 in the game for that young man. Stock pressing down three. Noah Simpson works the lane. 
hand was tipped out of bounds. It was not. It simply went off of Simpson's hand. That may have been one one pass attempt too many on that particular one. It's a JV freshman varsity night here. The line of senior one in the freshman game. Start one the JV game 47 to 39, and line of seniors up three here in the varsity match. Yeah, they've got to shut down that middle. They've got to make start shoot it from the outside. Jai Jefferson works the lane. And take it away from him. Good hustle play by Deshaun Greer. Foster to the rim. No, no contact either. And Hutchins gets called for foul on the rebound. Jagger now has three fouls in the game. And we will shoot foul shots at the other end. Well, now we're going to see which team's really gotten hot here in the second half. From the walk to the foul line, see who gets to shoot free throws. Looks like it's going to be. Preston Edwards, he missed a couple back in uh, quarter number two. He's got four points in the game. That one he makes, point five. And the lead is down to two. Second free throw, Preston Edwards. Bounces around, rolls in, six in the game for him. Wilson finds Foster in the corner. Long three, Hutchins rebounds, goes right to the rim and finishes. Points 13 and 14, came at a good time for Jagger certainly, Hutchins. Certainly did. Line the seniors lead under two minutes, goes back to three. Oh, good defense. Yes, he was. Edwards working in the lane. Couldn't get anywhere. Ball's tipped loose. Foster has this one to Hutchins. Nice play, Sean Foster. 16 points. Jagger Hutchins to lead at five. Good vision by Foster to see Hutchins cutting for the basket, too. Ball set up by the good defense he played to begin that. Work in the lane. Little runner. Nope. Tipped around. Comes to Ja'Kai Jefferson. Stallworth. And then back out to Josiah Jefferson. He's matched up now with Isaiah Wilson. And we're going to get a touch foul out front. And that will put Josiah Jefferson to the free throw line for a pair. And becomes Isaiah Wilson's fourth foul. He's got 21 points in the game for wow. the senior. Josiah Jefferson is four for six. Nope, he is five for eight. Now five for nine at the free throw line tonight. 21 points in the game for him. Here's Kate Hampton to the game, and he will replace Deshaun Greer. Spartans going with some ball handling and some experience. Bringing the senior in for the sophomore. That one's hard and stay, stayed in anyway. Oh, what a battle, too, down there with Hutchins. <laughs> the, lead, the lead's at four. Hutchins off Look another out. feed, and he got another one. He's got a couple of dimes handed in lately. He's got 18. That one came from Wilson. Hutchins went up strong to block a shot and instead draws contact with a foul. Jagger Hutchins now has four. And to the free throw line will so go Ja'Kai Jefferson. Ja'Kai has 15 in the game, looking at 16. You got to hit these free throws. He's missed his only opportunity tonight, but nails that one, point 16. And we're back to three again. Under a minute to go. Wilson finds Hutchins and over cross court to Hampton. And oh. throws it away. Great steal that time. To the rim and finishing Josiah Jefferson. 24 in the game. The lead is one. To the rim. Trying to catch up and scores Isaiah Wilson. The shot doesn't go, but he draws a foul. 
He was on a dead sprint to the rim that time and gets to go to the free throw line. Josiah, Josiah Jefferson gets his fourth foul. Isaiah Wilson, an 87% free throw shooter, is 0 for 1 tonight. He was 20 for 23 coming in. He's got uh, 21 on the game tonight and 14 in the opening half, including 12 in quarter number two. A couple of key free throws for him. So the start team averages 47 points a game. They've got 63 on the board tonight. Yeah, I'm looking at, you know, they haven't had 63. Well, they, they beat Centennial 63 to 62. And oh. bounces around, doesn't go in. A couple of subs in for Lima Senior. One of them is Sean Greer. The other is the league wash. Coach Simpson playing a little offense, defense right now. Here's the second free throw from Isaiah Wilson. That oh. one spins out on him. Start with an opportunity to take the lead. And we're going to get the final timeout of the basketball game for Coach Kareem Warren. 18.6 to go. Back in a moment, you're watching high school basketball, WOSN. Game Toledo starts. They trail by one. Gotta shut it down, guys. Gotta put it in, somebody in the middle there to keep starting from out of there. Ja'Kai Jefferson going to the rim. Hudson's cuts him off. Ja'Kai's gonna get a look from the corner. Nope. Here's a three that's gonna go up. That misses. Short rebound shot. Oh. That one misses. Lima Senior survives. A couple of point blank jump wow. shots late in the basketball game and holds on for a 64 63 win over Toledo Start. How about that, dog, for a finish? I'll tell you what, two, two good looks for Start right there, too. And really, the last one that he came up short with that shot was a guy that had been hitting him all night long. So. Big break for Lima Senior on that one there. You know, tough game though. I mean, Start really came back in that second half, you know, particularly in that fourth quarter, and just made a game of it when they were down by double digits for most of the game. You know, this goes to show you, you know, it's, it's a four-quarter game no matter what. You know, you can be up by three, but it's a four-quarter game. Toledo Start had quarter scores of 21, 13, 8, and a 19-point fourth quarter. They were led in scoring tonight by Josiah Jefferson with 24. Brother Ja'Kai had 16 for them this evening. The Start Spartans will drop to 6 and 5 on the season. They will also fall to 3 and 1 in the Toledo City Athletic League. Lima Senior, they had quarter scores of 23, 22, 9, and 10. For their 64 points tonight. They were led by Isaiah Wilson with 21. Jagger Hutchins made a big fourth quarter, had 8. In the fourth quarter to give him 18. Sean Foster had 14. All in the first half for Lima Senior. They will go to five and three, Dar, and they've gotten themselves up in the conference. They are three and one as well. Yeah, they certainly are, and it's just a great job. And unfortunate finish if you look at it, if you're a start fan, because they, you know, like I said, you had a couple shots there at the end could have really put put this game away for you, and it just didn't happen for them. But you know. He like said it's it's a four quarter game and, and you got to keep fighting throughout the game. Both teams put a lot of effort into this game. It, it, there's there's certainly nothing to be ashamed of for either one of them when you leave the court and you put that much effort into it. The scoreboard has been brought to you by Lee's Famous Rescue Chicken. The free throw sponsor tonight was Web Insurance. Our timeout sponsor was Metzger Financial Services. I want to thank John Zell, the athletic director here. First of all, I helped us get all set up this evening, get us in the door and all those types of things. Then gave us a couple of roster changes tonight. Merrick Sher Megan Sherrick set everything up for us this evening. She also did all of our video work, and she will take this back to the station and edit it for you to watch on Saturday evening. 
Lima Sr. holds on, takes a Toledo City Athletic League win, 64-63 over the Start Spartans. You've been watching high school basketball on WOSN.